Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Avery is asleep right now, but right or er, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make homemade bedding. So this idea, um, this idea, this tutorial or whatever I got from Aaron's Animal, I will try and leave the le link down below if I remember. I probably won't, but she made a, um, she's made two kind of beddings. And I will probably make the second bedding on here or just by myself. But this one, I thought that it would be really cool. The other one, I just feel like it really feels like Carefresh bedding. And I feel like it would just be exactly like Carefresh. It's for people that don't really have um, money really to get Carefresh bedding or any kind of bedding that's really soft and stuff for anything. Um, so today's video, you will need a bowl of hot water when um well basically you'll need a bowl then in the bowl you'll need hot water then you'll need any kind of paper towel um or uh toilet paper anything like this a few moments later so basically after your uh your boiling water um, so it doesn't have to be like really bubbly it just has to be pretty hot um after that is done oof i'm sorry i did not set up this camera good um and after that is done boiling basically what you're gonna do is you're just going to pile up your paper towels in here you probably want a spoon to after you get to a thing but do not worry if you think that you've put in too much water uh, you'll see after you're kind of done all you have to do is just make it like this So I'm going to speed up this process or cut it out uh, But yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I'll get back to you guys Okay, okay So I don't know where the clip went but you're supposed to wait for it for an hour and then get back to it and do this stuff That I'm going to show you. So I'm back and I have this. Oh, I'm just gonna check if it's warm. Oh Yeah, okay so your next step that you're going to do is obviously roll up your sleeves and basically you're just going to mush it all up. And basically like do this and you're just basically going to take it apart, kind of mush up everything water that is in here is just literally from here so basically what, I, what you want to do is you just want to take it and squeeze out all the water in it and take the ball because obviously you don't want any water in your bedding so you're just going to take it and squeeze out as much water as you can it's fine if there's a little bit of water because that's going to dry up. But you're just basically going to do it. Um, and you can blow dry it right now after all these balls are done. But I'm going to save you guys the trouble in watching me make all these balls. Because they're literally just going to be me scrunching up the paper. But if you kind of already look at it, it literally already kind of looks like bedding. Uh, if you own a hamster, but I'm gonna make this all into balls. Ew. Uh, and I'll be back. Okay, so here are all four of the balls. 
Um, basically, what is next is you're just going to wait for them to dry. So I'm going to wait for these um, to dry. I'm going to put on, you can have it overnight. You can do a lot of things, but I'm going to make another batch just because I feel like this is not going to be a lot of bedding. So I'm going to make another mat batch. I'm going to show you guys um, all my balls and all my balls that I made. And then um, I will be back um, and showing you guys when I have all my balls. And then I'm going to show you guys or tell you guys how long it actually took to uh, have them. Okay, dry. so I just made all of them. Avery's up chewing, but I just made all of them. And so now I'm going to have them dry for, I think I'm going to have them dry for two hours. So I think I'm going to have them dry for two hours. And then if they're not dry, I'm going to like unpeel them all and then put them on a tray and have it in the oven for like 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in three hours to see if these are dry or not. Some of them are already coming apart, but they're pretty much, they look like bedding, I'll say that. But okay, three hours later. Okay, so Avery's up right now, but it's been three hours and I'm going to shred them apart on camera and they are still like cold, wet, but I think if I shred them apart, then they're gonna be like better i guess wait i think you're supposed to go like this okay first thought kind of ugly I mean, it's kind of ugly. Look at this little baby. She's up. But, okay, so. Let's talk a little bit about it first. So, this is it. Um, I didn't think I was going to make this much. I didn't really. I was expecting it to be way less. Even though I put a little bit more than uh, I was expecting at first. But, yeah, I'm very surprised on how much I made. It is still a little cold, um, but I won't, I mean, it's kind of moist. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit more until I put it in Avery's cage. But I just kind of want to talk a little bit about it because I'm not going to film anymore. So, basically, my overlook is this is a good alternative if you don't have bedding or if you don't have money for bedding. And first of all, you shouldn't have, not have money for your hamster to get bedding. The one big thing that your hamster is stepping on and going through every single, like every single day. There's not one day that they're going to not walk or be in that bedding unless you know, you know, you move them or something like that. You know what I mean? With toys, it's understandable that you might not have that money to get them because they're not going to be really using them all the time like every single well I mean they will but still I'm just saying if you don't have money this you're still going to have to put money on you're going to have to use a bowl okay that's money you're going to have to use this paper towels and you're going to have to use like you're going to have to buy the paper towels so it's still money I know that it's obviously not as much money as care fresh and stuff like that but i'm using this as like a material for avery um for her birth yeah this is just not an urn true up oh, i can't say it um but it's just not ideal i guess if you don't have any bedding for them i mean it's still really nice and like i still would recommend it but not for their whole entire cage i would not recommend it for their whole entire cage it's i'm going to use it uh just definitely not for her whole entire cage ever just because it's like just that like that's not bedding like that's not how bedding is bedding is always like this but like smaller chunks and like it's like goes like that so definitely recommend it still spending money on this definitely not as much as care fresh 
but definitely still making or using money for it and doing stuff and it doesn't take I would not say for making like bedding um I definitely would not say it's super super expensive or um not expensive I mean like taking long like it doesn't take as long I mean it might take a while to dry um but that's still not I mean I don't know it only took I did two batches of it okay so it took two hours for them to soak it didn't take me super long to like shred them and then for drying I put them on for three hours I don't know how long you're actually supposed to three hours so around I mean the math like it's it's not crazy but yeah I'm definitely gonna have them dry for a little bit longer 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 um and then i'm going to put in avery's cage but i do hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys um learn how to do this i don't know there's probably a lot of people that have made this but um food coloring or how do you dye this would be very hard so that we i don't think i'm um also i probably would recommend maybe putting it in the oven um with the balls like when it's all rolled up the, if you're if you've done it already where you kind of did it and you can stick them back together it's not dry enough um so as you can see let's see let's see if it's dry enough Okay, so it's kind of wet still. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys on my next video, which I really don't know when it's going to be. Um, probably in like another three. Bye.